Hello, welcome to this video which we are going to be finding R using a calculator. Okay, so this is data that we have uh, used before. Okay, so you'll want to put your hours in list one and your scores in list two. Okay, so as a refresher, we want to go stat, enter, and there you go. I have them preset in here. Okay, so go ahead and do that. So once you get your data in there, second quit out. Now one thing that we have to do um, as a start is to turn our diagnostics on. And this is just something some calculators will find R without doing this. Some won't. So let's just go ahead and before we find R, we have to turn the diagnostics on. So follow my steps clearly. Hit second, catalog. Okay, so now I'm in the catalog. And if you notice on the top right here, there's a, a little A right there. That stands for the alpha. That means that you're, you hit letters. So we want to hit the D for diagnostics. The D, which is the X to the negative 1. So once you hit that, it takes you to the D's in the catalog. Now we want to scan down slowly until we get to until we get to diagnostics on. Okay? Diagnostic on. Now we want to hit enter twice. Enter once. Enter twice. And then it says done. Once it says done, when I show you the way to find R, your R will pop up there. Okay? If I'd have showed you, you might before you did that, it might not have worked. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to a blank screen. Okay, and you have this data in your list one, your time, and your list and scores in the list two. So let's go ahead and do this. We want to hit stat, arrow over to right to calc. So I hit the arrow over here. Now we want to go to number eight. Hit number eight which is line reg A plus BX. Now the calculator has it programmed for list one and list two. Okay? But we could always do second list one, then put a comma which is above the seven, and second two, which is list two. You have to do that if your X and your Y list and were anything but L1 and L2. And hit enter and there is our R. Okay, so it's sits right there for you. R equals 0 0.812. Okay, so this is a strong relationship between time and scores. Now some people might say this is moderately strong, but it, you, you know you have to pick away if it was me, I'd say relatively strong relationship between student study time and student scores. Okay? So that's how you do it. That's how you find the R using your calculator. That's it. Thanks for watching.